Hello Elder Scrolls fans, I'm going to show you how you can play Morrowind on your Android smartphone. We will use OpenMW, which is a game engine where you can use your data files from your Morrowind installation to play Morrowind on your smartphone. After the very first part in this guide, you will not use anything else but your smartphone itself. We don't need a computer or something else. So for the start, you need a clean Morrowind installation on your computer. That means uh, you have to install it and patch it, or you can download it through Steam. So you are up to date on the new version. I suppose most of you will use the Steam version. So let's just run with this. Go into the directory where you installed Morrowind and take the following files and put it on your smartphone. You need the data files and the Morrowind ini. Take the complete data files, not just part of them. The other files in that directory uh, you can stay on your, on your PC. You don't need them at all. After that, you need the app itself. There are currently three versions of it uh, available for download. I will put links to them in the description. In this guide, we will use TES3MP, which is a side project of the multiplayer version of the game or of the OpenMW game engine. The other two work just fine, but this one works best for me and my device. Let's go to our browser. I choose Chrome. Link is in the description for the download. You can click, you may click here on the assets. APK and download it. After the download is finished, we go to our download folder and install the APK, which I already did and I will not install it again. In your app drawer, you should find the OpenMW app now. Here it is. Welcome home. Your settings could look a bit different than mine, but I already changed mine. As you may see, this version of the app allows for multiplayer gaming, but we will not do this, so make sure to uncheck this box. Next up are the language settings. Make sure to put it on Latin. We will enable the quick keys and the FN keys. We will not mess with the custom resolution. Make sure to delete everything which is written here in the custom command line arguments that could mess up your game, especially when you're modding it later. The graphics library would depend on your device. On my Samsung S9 Plus, uh, the second uh, option uh, runs better. Um, with the first one, the water looks a bit funny. You can also customize the layout of your buttons but I'm not gonna do this now. You can try it yourself, how you like it to be. Now we have to tell the app where the data files are. We press on the game files. I put mine in the internal storage. Here it is, here it is. And we stop when we see the data files itself. Press select. Now you can start the game by pressing the right button corner, play. Let's start a new game to test it out. We will skip that. Stand up. There you go. You were dreaming. What's your name? Well, not even last night's storm could wake you. I heard them say we've reached Morrowind. I'm sure they'll let us go. I had a horrible nightmare, my friend. Quiet. Here comes the guy. This is where you get off. Come with me. You can use the mouse cursor or you can uh, click on the screen itself to activate things.
You see, I could use the cursor with the attack button. I would click or I'm clicking direct on the OK button. So here we are in Zedani. Looks good to me. This is where they want you. Head down to the dock and I'll show you to the center. You finally arrived, but our records don't show from where. Great. I'm sure you'll fit right in. Follow me up to the office and they'll finish your release. Thank you, sir. They are so kind to you. After you've been a prisoner. Yes, we've been expecting you. Uh, you'll have to be recorded before you're officially released. There are a few ways we can do this, and the choice is yours. We'll take... Very a short good. one. The letter that preceded you mentioned you were born under a certain sign. And what would that be? Interesting. Now, before I stamp these papers, make sure this information is correct. Everything fine. Show your papers to the captain when you exit to get your release fee. The controls work pretty well. I don't know if I would use mouse and keyboard or a gamepad. It's supposed to work, but I never tried it. Continue through to the next building and talk to Salastratus. Let's take the knife. It's quite laggy at the start and it is uh, laggy because of the screen capture. By the way, pressing Fn and F3, you can start um, a frame rate counter in the top left corner. Here we are. Morwent duties. Thanks, sir. What's this about? So, here we are. Hurry this up, will you? Mr. Fargoth. I found it. Here you are. Thanks a lot. You can do mostly everything you do on uh, PC. You even have quick keys. You can program. Oh, it's hand to hand. Here's your inventory. As you can see, I made some changes um, within the settings. I will uh, upload my settings file so you can download it and use it. Uh, the one thing is that it's shown to you the stuff that other NPCs own. When I, will t when I take it, uh, it would count as stealing. And I do enjoy a good conversation. the merchants will not equip items I sell to them. These are two changes I made in the config. I'm gonna link it uh, down in the description. You can, you may use it yourself. Don't stand about. Say something or move on. I'll show you the file in question real quick. Let's go to the phone internal storage. OMW for open Morwind config. And it's the settings config, which you would have to change or download mine. There are resources online, um, but I think I picked the best ones. Let's use a text editor to look inside it. I will link it down below. Here we go, open MW, config, settings. These game settings are not in there uh, from the start. 
I put them in there myself. Uh, also these uh, shaders. Um, they are recognized by the game itself, but I'm not sure if these patterns for normal maps, specular maps and stuff like this, of the game um, finds them by, by its own. There you go. Now you can play Morrowind on your smartphone. If you have any questions, comment down below. I will try my best to answer them. The next video will be how to mod this bad boy. By just using the smartphone, we will not use any PC. Thanks for watching. See ya.